Bible, there's a great story about a woman named Ruth. And I want to teach you a song that will help you remember this great woman. I'd like you to sing along with me. The song is called, I Want a Friend Like Ruth. There was a girl from Moab town, the kind of friend you want to be around. There's not a thing she wouldn't do to make things better just for you. Ruth, I want a friend like you. Ruth, you are a friend so true, so good and kind. It's hard to find. I want a friend like Ruth. And that's the truth. Left her home for Bethlehem, far away in a foreign land. She gave up all she'd ever known, so her best friend wouldn't be alone. Ruth, I want a friend like you. Ruth, you are a friend so true, so good and kind. It's hard to find. I want a friend like Ruth. And that's the truth. Worked in the fields all by herself, collecting food for someone else. A loyal friend, so good and kind. She's the best of friends you'll ever If you want to read the complete story of Ruth, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in the book of Ruth. us about a man called Elisha. He learned many things from the prophet Elijah. I want to teach you a song that will help you remember this great man. The song is called, I'll Stick With You. Once you learn the song, you can sing along. I'll always be there, I'll persevere, 
These are the only words you'll hear. I'll, I'll stick with you. If you want to learn the complete story of Elisha, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in 1 Kings chapter 19 and 2 Kings chapter 2. story about a very important soldier called Naaman. He was very sick, but because he listened to the prophet of God, he was made well. I want to teach you a song that will help you remember this man. If you like, you can sing along with me. The song is called Seven Times and Not One More. Went to Elisha, I'm sick and heard you could help me. He said, go to the River Jordan, wash seven times and you will see. How many times should I wash in the Jordan, wash in the Jordan, wash in the Jordan? How many times should I wash in the Jordan, seven times and not one more? Naaman went to the Jordan, he didn't think it was the cure. The Jordan was just a river like any other, that's for sure. How many times should I wash in the Jordan, wash in the Jordan, wash in the Jordan? How many times should I wash in the Jordan? Washed in the Jordan Seven times then back to shore That's when Naaman noticed That he was not sick anymore How many times should I wash in the Jordan? Wash in the Jordan Wash in the Jordan How many times should I wash in the Jordan? Seven times and not one more If you want to read the complete story of Naaman, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in 2 Kings chapter 5. such a wonderful book. In it are many great stories. 
One of the greatest stories is about a king named David. This king had a son who would also become king. His name was Solomon. Sing this song with me about these two great kings of Israel. The song is called, Someday You'll Be the King. King David had a son was Solomon His father showed the way He said Someday you'll be the king Ruler of everything My son, pay attention Cause someday you'll be the king Yes, someday you'll be the king If you are always wise And know right from wrong It will be no surprise You'll be a king so strong He said Someday you'll be the king Ruler of everything My son, pay attention Cause someday you'll be the king Yes, someday you'll be the king Love God with all your heart And follow his commands That will make you smart I hope you understand He said Someday you'll be the king Ruler of everything My son, pay attention Cause someday you'll be the king Yes, someday you'll be the king Like father, like son King David and Solomon He listened and took the throne to be the great King we've ever known Someday you'll be the king Ruler of everything My son, pay attention Cause someday you'll be the king Yes, someday you'll be the king Yes, someday you'll be the king If you want to read the complete story of Solomon be sure and read the Bible. The story of Solomon is found in 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, and Proverbs. These are all books of the Bible. was a great woman whose story is told in the Bible. I want to teach you a song that will help you remember Hannah. I'd like you to sing along with me. The song is called, Hannah Don't Be Sad. Her 
her prayers have come true. If you want to read all about Hannah, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in 1 Samuel chapters 1 and 2. One of the greatest men to ever live was named Moses. The Bible tells us all about him. I'm going to teach you a song that will help you remember this man. Once you learn this song, you can sing it and teach it to others. The song is called, Take a Walk with Moses. Huh, two, three, four. Huh, two, three, four. Fall in, move them out. Here we go. Moses went to Pharaoh, he said, let my people go. God promised us a better place where milk and honey flow. The road is hard and very long, but soon we'll all be free. So everybody pack your bags and come along with me. Take a walk with Moses to the promised land. Take a walk with Moses across the desert sand. Up over the mountains to the sea. Now all you children follow me. Let's take a walk along, walk with Moses. So Moses led them 40 years and followed God's command. The people grew impatient as they walked across the land. This trip was taking too long and they didn't like to wait. But Moses kept them walking, his patience made him great. Take a walk with Moses to the promised land. Take a walk with Moses across the desert sand, up over the mountains through the sea. Now all you children follow me. Let's take a walk along, walk with Moses. Look to the left, look to the right. Take a long walk with Moses all through the day and all through the night. Take a long walk with Moses. Two steps forward, one step back. Take a long walk with Moses. Follow me, you're right on track. Take a long walk with Moses. Take a walk with Moses to the promised land. Take a walk with Moses across the desert sand. Up over the mountains to the sea. Now all you children follow me. If you want to learn the complete story of Moses, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in the book of Exodus. One of the greatest stories in the Bible is about a man named Daniel. 
Let's learn a song that will help you remember this great man. The song is called, My God Saved Me. to the lions, Rock. but then we heard him say, my God saved me, I'm happy as can be, an angel keeps me company, all through the night those lions didn't bite, my God saved me. Even though those lions were a hungry bunch, God protected Daniel so he would not be their lunch. Yay! My God saved me, I'm happy as can be. An angel kept me company all through the night. Those lions didn't bite. My God saved me. The king saw God save Daniel. He made up brand new Law. He ordered all the people to worship Daniel's God. My God saved me, I'm happy as can be. An angel kept me company all through the night. Those lions didn't bite. My God saved me. My God saved me, I'm happy as can be. An angel kept me company. If you want to learn all about Daniel, be sure and read the greatest book of all, the Bible. The story is found in the book of Daniel. <laughs>